are there different kinds of hangovers? Oh yes, we've identified three. I must say that this has been done in conjunction with my producer, David Pritchard, who is a much bigger artist than I am. Is he the rather fat chap? He was the rather fat chap, yes. blotchy. Yeah. Those at the Inner Shannon Hotel remember him down in Cork one day. He fell asleep for quite a long time after a very heavy fishing session. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he forgot to get to the bank in both senses of the word. Um, however, yes, we've identified three. We've got the double whammy. That's the one when you wake up in the morning and there's that scratching noise under the curtains, the bed seems to be moving slightly, and they've just decided to unload the garbage from a large factory into your lavatory. That's yes. that one, and That's it's all doing double that. Whammy. That's a double whammy. That's then when you certainly say, I'll never drink again. Ever. Yeah, ever. That's it. Um, very funny tripping up down the stairs coming in here, really. Hello. <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> the, second the second one, one is the time bomb. Yeah. And that's the one where you wake up in the morning feeling quite good, you know, shaved, teeth, hair, tie done, into the office, all quite sensible, all very proper. Then the phone rings, and you reach for the other one. And oh. then... Coordination is gone. All gone. And suddenly this leaden grey cloud descends over you. Mm -hmm. And that is a terrible one. And you think, I must stay at work because I'm getting paid to do this. I'd rather be in the pub. But that's when you mustn't go to the pub, of course. And then there's the third one, which is the creative hangover. That's when you do get back to work and you think everything's absolutely fine. The yeah. truth is, in this instance, you're still slightly <laughs> intoxicated. <laughs> So those are the three principles. So you think you're doing fine, but everybody knows. Uh, you think you're doing fine, but everybody else knows that you can't. And I mean, a quick chalk line down the... The, the centre of the, the office carpet would, would, would reveal all. That, exactly. All yes. right. Um, can you avoid the hangover? I mean, we're all told about lining the stomach with milk or scrambled eggs or something before you go out. Does it work? It does. Um, in the south of France, for example, or in much of Mediterranean countries where there's a lot of olive oil, they drink a large glass of olive oil before they start. Um, a really Yuck. good... No, but it's, it's, olive oil is good for you. I know, but... One of your is. later guests will confirm that. That olive oil is very good. No, it doesn't taste too good just to drink a glass yeah. of it, but it will line the tummy. The other thing is, is to have a really good meal, something like, which a lot of people won't particularly like, but is very nice, salt cod, soaked in milk, and then poached gently and pulverised in one of these kind of machines yeah. with olive oil and garlic. So it looks like porridge, but tastes of fish, and that does a very good thing for you. Lining so, job. Lining job. The lining jobs mm. are very important. And, and, then, and, and then when you get home, yeah. if, you can, if you can see the tap, <laughs> and if you can manage to get a glass underneath it, yeah. drink as much water as, as you, you possibly, possibly can. can. Maybe three pints. Are there any rules about drinking? I mean, they always say, stay on the grape and you'll be fine. Yes, the grain, you should never mix the grain and the grape, that's for certain. But I mean, some of them are much worse than others. I'm particularly fond of port, for example. Mm. Um, and it introduces in me a very soporific and pleasing, contented, I can be philosophical and everything after several glasses of port. I mean, you can port. become a nice guy. Yeah, almost, yes. <laughs> but I mean, on the other hand, as my producer says, you know, once you've had that whiskey, he becomes half man, half whiskey. It's a bit dangerous. <laughs> you know. All right, now you're going to demonstrate some of the remedies uh, for us. Wh which one would you like to first? Well, let's go back to the dreadful time when you have got the, um, the double whammy and yeah. there is nothing you can do at all. You're, you're absolutely desperate, the head is throbbing and you've got to get going somehow. So you chuck some ice. The saw doctors are watching this with rapt attention. <laughs> uh, well, no. They've been there and done that. <laughs> yes. So a load of ice. Now, this depends on your... Uh, economic circumstances, of course. Yeah. I mean, um, if you're um, Pat Kenny or someone like that, you can put lots of this in. If you're, uh, you know, a poor person, <laughs> you obviously don't put you too put much in. in. Yes. <laughs> so, a drop of brandy, yeah. a drop of white creme de menthe, okay, which is a minty one, and that famous herbly based uh, uh, toxic thing, Fernie Branca. You chuck that all into ice and you put the top on it. This is highly alcoholic at this This is stage, highly alcoholic, but this is a reviver. This is desperation okay. tactics. Right. <laughs> you shake it through like that. You pour a little drop in. And about that much... And, I mean, you're not already, are you? No, I'm not. No, I think but you fine. might be in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering, should I do this? I've got to do a show or another... Tastes like cough mixture. Exactly. <laughs> and that's not... <laughs> It's exactly like Dr. Collis Brand's famous remedy. Right, would, would someone like to try this? There's a man in the front row. I'll offer you a glass of this potion. And you're honest appraisal now. What do you think? The cough machine is
He could live with that, though, oh, yeah. as a cure. Oh, yeah. This is guaranteed, Keith, is it? It is absolutely guaranteed. For the double whammy? For the double whammy. A small dose of that will bring you round within about 15 minutes. Okay, now what are you going to do next for us? Okay, the next one, now this is much more interesting in many ways because it's also a lot of fun. This is called a bull shot. A bull shot. I think I said what that was the first right. <laughs> what, what was the first one called again? The first one was called uh, Corpse Reviver. Corpse Reviver. Uh, Corpse right. Reviver. Now, this one is genuinely nutritious and is based on sort of good things. Again, a lot of ice, as nice. much as you can spare. Some rich beef consomme. Those of you who can't be bothered to make it can buy it in a tin in your local supermarket. OK, so this is an iced soup. Think of it as an iced soup, like a Spanish gazpacho or a chilled consomme. Some of that, a drop of creamed Worcester, uh, of horseradish sauce. Okay. Uh, this, this is at, uh, I'm saying, 8 o'clock in the morning. This, this, is for, no, this is a bit later in the morning. <laughs> this is for those of you who don't have to rush out of bed. <laughs> OK. I mean, well, if you've got my Worcester sauce, I've got my consomme and I've consomme, got my ice. Uh, what's ice that? and Tabasco. Tabasco going in. Yeah. OK. Horseradish sauce. Uh, Worcester sauce. You're getting confused. I'm sorry. Worcester sauce. Liam Perrins. Liam Perrins. The three Tabasco of. and horseradish, right? OK. Now what's going Freshly on? squeezed lemon juice. Yeah. OK. One egg yolk. <laughs> Are you serious? I am serious. <laughs> if you've... Yes, but listen, I mean, in this country, you lot who whack it down like you can't believe, I mean, this curious puritanical attitude that's appearing is amazing to me. This will... I mean, I suppose you all go to the pub the following morning and buy a pint of Murphy's or a pint of Guinness, but or perhaps ten. But mm -hmm. just one of these... One of these will do the trick. One of these will do the trick. Now, already people are ringing in saying this is very irresponsible, encouraging people to drink so much that they can be cured the following day. No, we're not doing but things like that. these are for non-drivers, people who do not drive cars. Absolutely. And then when we've shaken that... Oh, no, vodka. We had a little drop... <laughs> a little drop of vodka. OK. Oh, dear. And a final twizzle. Is there anyone in the audience who wants to try this one? Oh, there's a lady in the front row. I see her now. I spot her. I know she wants to try it. I, I, I'll try it myself. Just You do. It, it, it is a sort of a version of an iced Irish coffee, in a way. Oh, God. <laughs> there you are. Try that. Adding fuel to the fire, it? Down, it, down in one. Mm. <laughs> How do you get your well made? It's dreadful. <laughs> it's dreadful. Do you want to try it? Passing I'm passing the germs around. No, <laughs> germs couldn't live in this, I can tell you. Do you want to try that? Yeah. I said the cheese. What? It's like so. Oh, it's not. It's like Right, it's very good we'll, for you. We'll give you the whole lot in a minute. <laughs> now, what's the third one you're going to do? Now, the third with? one is a genuinely healthy one. Just check. Oh, that yep. works. Right. This is called a Sydney Sunrise. And Who's this Sydney? This is from the town of Australia. Oh, we have some Aussies in later on. They'll, Excellent. They'll enjoy this one. Right. Now, the Sydney Sunrise also brings you round, but it doesn't contain any alcohol, but it does have a whole egg. Once again, it has ice. Once again, some, not once again, but some freshly squeezed orange. OK, I hope everyone's taking notes at okay. home. Egg, ice, orange, orange juice. Orange juice. Lovely runny Irish honey. Oh, this is goodness personified. Well, this, uh, but they, uh, yes. yes. But you, you've got to take these drinks in the context that it is the morning after. I mean, I'm not saying that these are the drinks you go out and celebrate with in the evening. These are your punishment drinks <laughs> for the misbehaving the night before. Right, and then a little bit of cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon. Or nutmeg, if you like. It doesn't matter too much, but just a bit of spice. And then a squeeze of, of lime. lime juice. Very nice. And what some, do you think? This looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Somehow locate that, so... It, no, why didn't I... Oh, there we are. This one might cure me from the other two. I've I, just this, had. It, it will. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how this works, I'm it afraid. It lives straight up. Oh, it lives straight up. Excellent. Now, this is a non-alcoholic full of vitamins, full of sugar, full of spicy ah. drink. That, and it won't make your hangover go away, but it will make you feel one lot better. At least it will reintroduce some oh, I like happiness this. into you. I like this. I'm going to keep uh, uh, what's left of that in another glass by my side throughout the rest of the show. Mm. No, I'll give it to someone over here. There you are. 
There you are. See what you think of that. I think it's a splendid drink. Hang on to it and pass it round. Beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? Well done, Mr. Floyd. Absolutely.